the sum of angles in a polygon is n minus 2 multiplies 180 degree where n is equal to the number of sides for example in a triangle the number of sides is 3 so the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 3 minus 2 multiplies 180 degree which results in 180 degree similarly for a quadrilateral the number of sides is 4 so the sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 4 minus 2 multiplies 180 degree which results in 360 degree and the number of sides in a hexagon is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the sum of angles in a hexagon is equal to 6 minus 2 multiplies 180 degree which results in 720 degree a straight angle an angle equals 180 degree or pi radian is called a straight angle two angles that sum to a straight angle are called supplementary angle for example in this figure angle B and angle A sum to a straight angle where B plus A is equal to 180 degree and so B and A are supplementary angles where A is less than 90 degree and B is greater than 90 degree. An angle which is greater than 90 degree is defined as a obtuse angle so B is an obtuse angle on the other hand an angle which is less than 90 degree is defined as acute angle so A is an acute angle in this figure we can see that angle V and X angle V and X form a straight angle so V plus X is equal to 180 degree where V is equal to 135 degree so we can write that 135 plus X is equal to 180 degree therefore X is equal to 180 degree minus 135 which results in 45 degree so X is equal to 45 degree right angle an angle which equals 90 degree is called a right angle and two angles that sum to a right angle are called complementary angles for example in this figure angle M and N sum to 90 degree that is M plus N is equal to 90 degree and so M and N are complementary angles in this figure this is a straight angle this is a right angle that is why this is also a right angle so 55 degree and y sum to 90 degree as complementary angles therefore y is equal to 90 degree minus 55 degree which results in 35 degree so y is equal to 35 degree vertically opposite angles a pair of angles opposite each other formed by two intersecting a straight line that form an X shape are called vertical angles opposite angles or vertically opposite angles angles A and B are a pair of equal and vertical angles and angles C and D are another pair of equal and vertical angles in this figure 105 and Z are a pair of equal and vertical angles that is why Z is equal to 
105 degree. Reflex angle. Angles larger than a straight angle that is 180 degree and less than 360 degree are called reflex angle. In this figure, R is a reflex angle where R is less than 360 degree but R is greater than 180 degree. Considering S, the definition of reflex angle helps us to write R plus S is equal to 360 degree. So in this figure, the unknown value of R can be obtained by this formula where R plus 120 degree is equal to 360 degree. Therefore, R is equal to 360 degree minus 120 degree is equal to 240 degree. Corresponding angles and alternate angles. In this figure, H and S are two parallel lines where P is intersecting them as a transversal line. Here A is 120 degree and A and D form a straight angle so D is 60 degree. Again A and C are vertically opposite angles so C is equal to 120 degree. B and D are also vertically opposite angles so B is equal to 60 degree. According to the postulates Corresponding angles are equal to each other. In this figure, D and L are on the same direction with respect to the line P and are on the upper right direction considering the parallel line. And so D and L are equal to each other as they are corresponding angle. Similarly, angle A is equal to angle I, angle B is equal to angle J, and angle C is equal to angle K, which helps us to derive that alternate angles are also equal to each other. For example, angle B and angle L are two alternate angles which are in between the two parallel line that is interior to the parallel line and are in the opposite side of the transversal line. So they are alternate interior angles. Similarly, C is equal to I. On the other hand, A and K are also equal to each other but they are on the opposite side of P but A is above the H and K is below the line S. So they are called alternate exterior angles. Similarly, D is equal to J. So in this figure, P and 35 are alternate interior angles. So P is equal to 35 where P and Q are corresponding angles as we know that corresponding angles are also equal to each other so P is equal to Q is equal to 35 degree. Thanks for watching. Perceive, persevere, practice. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanking you from Higher Study Prep.